Good morning and a very hearty welcome to Theodicy class. Well, we had be, we are with the, towards the end of our portion after having gone through various aspects of Theodicy. Finally, we came to division number five, phenomenological, phenomenological approach to Theodicy or in other words, how do we look at God notion from the phenomenological approach. So in that we had the introduction, well reality is to be seen not from a static point of view, from a dynamic point of view, from a point of view of its movement. That was the first uh, section that we dealt with, the general introduction and how phenomenology look at reality. And then we came into the most important section called religious consciousness. Religious consciousness. So, what is religious consciousness and all? We have seen in comparison to uh, moral consciousness. Religious conscious, consciousness we developed first, defined. What is consciousness? Yes, consciousness we said, experience gets sedimented and thus consciousness is formed. Experience, various types of experiences. So, in other words, not only one experience, different experiences are there. So, they get sedimented and consciousness in general is formed. And thus, we said, well, there is a noiety consciousness, consciousness that deals with knowledge. There is aesthetic consciousness, consciousness that deals with beauty. There is moral consciousness, consciousness that deals with right and wrong, ethics. And then we said there is also consciousness called religious consciousness, consciousness that deals with the divine, the holy and all that is clear. After that we simply defined what is the content of religious consciousness. Okay, content of religious consciousness. Content, what is the content? Yes, we don't take any religion in particular. We take all the religions and then take the sat of it or in other words the central point that we find in every religion and that is what we said the holy. Clear? Yes, the holy, the divine and all that is. Okay, and then we started, started explaining more about it and then the holy is defined, is a mysterium. Tremendum et uh, fascinance. It's a mystery. Tremendum et fascinance. Tremendous, overpowering, at the same time fascinating. You are drawn into it at the same time, well, you are frightened of it because it, it fathom, it escapes all our sensibility. Means, Yes, our five senses. So that is what is the content of religious consciousness. And then we said about, yes, it was five, one, and then five, two. Yes, experience of the, of the religious consciousness. Well, that is also, we said in three levels or levels of experience, in the various levels. That is the common level, then ascetical level, and finally the mystical level. So there were three under that. One, two, three. Means levels of, levels of experience. Means there are. Yes, first one is the common level. Well, slowly you have been introduced into many things. And then ascetical, you begin with the certain practices. These are all recap of four or five classes, previous classes. And the third one is, yes, the, the so-called mystical level. And you experience the presence of the divine or the holy. So that is what is. And now the next point is, well, we are going to say again, expression of it. Clear? Expression of it. Expression of the divine or the holy. It's all connected. 
clear expression means how do you what you experience how do you express it yes that is again well the expression of it in terms of yes you have five two three one five two three two five two three three yes in the form of faith or belief cult morality so in other words what do you experience is the holy and that is experienced at various levels and then we give expression to it yes and expression to it in the form of our belief in the form of cult in the form of morality that is the next point to be dealt to it so all these come under the one category the religious consciousness phenomenological understanding of religious consciousness clear so it goes on very important and in that well religious consciousness you have to stipulate what is religious consciousness and then what is the content of religious consciousness clear and that is yes the 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 mystery element is there the holy the divine is expressed in terms of a mystery the panchendriya as the five senses cannot adequately comprehend or express it it is overwhelming and we are not able to strictly put into our own human categories to understand it that's why awfulness is there overpowering is there and therefore we call it a mystery that mystery is tremendum at the fashion tremend means fear fascinates means fascinating attracting and all that is all explained yesterday and now the expression of it yes next to point experiencing of it content of it levels of experience is threefold namely yes in common level then second one is ascetical the from the word itself you get the content you begin to practice an ascetical life not like our famous uh, hindu sanyasi with his famous items now coming crores and crores of investment and all no we are not talking about that ascetical means yes and then comes the third one mystical level clear that is levels of experience and now expressions of it in terms of belief cult and morality and now the speciality belief is also yes two stages earlier stage later stage in the sense yes in the beginning in the beginning of humanity we have traveled a lot from beginning of humanity we don't any longer follow yes the most tension the way of doing things in the in belief in indian philosophy too we come across so many of that which we studied in the first year and then cult too yes earlier cult and later cult morality yes earlier morality and later morality and all that is one point now we are going to take it up so only remember you get enough and more simply to read there is no much philosophy it's only a phenomenological understanding of the religious consciousness that well the expressions of it in terms of belief cult and morality so that's what we are going to see now okay expressions of religious experience man's search for the deity when it reaches at the level of religious consciousness he looks for various expressions yes when it reaches to the level of religious consciousness yes it searches for various expressions of it these expressions have two stages in evolution because yes it is phenomenological phenomenological analysis means 
द फेनोमिन फेनोमिन द फेनोमिन इज एनालाइज देर फॉर इट इज दैट टू डे एंड टू मोरो डिफरेंटली देर फॉर द एक्सप्रेस ऑफ इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ टू namely well at the primitive level these expressions have two stages in evolution the first refers to the primitive expressions how humanity looked at it and then which is to be distinguished from the second namely the developed primitive and and developed in other words yes before the advent of science and all and now how it is so these two will be dealt with so in the primitive level so we are with 2 5 2 3 1 belief in the primitive level belief is expressed in the form of myths yes lot of myths you go into our own villages elders you meet elders you start talking they themselves even in this advanced stage have a lot of myths to narrate find out the eldest people in our own villages you will get a lot of it so the primitive level the belief was expressed in the form of myths the rest you can read from the yes the myths is actually an institution in terms of transcendent yes they are not simply false myths are not something false but then they have to be taken and there is some truth being expressed so that is the thing in a developed society myths are understood as tools to communicate truths yes this is in the primitive the developed yes these are myths are tools to understand truth that's a point so in other words we don't consider myths as reality but rather a myths tell us some truths about reality so myths equal to reality in the primitive state but then in the developed state myth is equal to expressions of truth not truth or reality here also you can put to truth but then expressions of truth the truth is there but you have to find out yes make jesus makes use of made use of stories parables anecdotes and examples taken from life these are all yes kingdom of heaven is like it is said clear yes and then the shepherd and the sheep and all that is clear therefore you cannot simply simply equate one in the myth level it was reality was considered to be that but then in the developed stage as yes, these examples or myth stories parables express the truth or convey truth so that is what is all about so in other words belief is in the form of myths and then later yeah, these are expressions of truth second one is cult okay cult is it another existential expression of man's religious experience in the primitive society it was manifested in the form of idolatry idolatry in the form of idolatry worship clear and then slowly this idolatry took another expression in the various forms of rituals slowly started rituals that is something very important to be noted rituals clear idolatry is giving way to rituals several kinds of magics were performed to please the deity yes you need also to a little bit of background in the developed society cult assumes an inter interior dimension if in the primitive period idolatry was stressed and rituals of purification were conducted they were all in view of purifying the worshipper clear a kind of yes that's why jesus attacks already a exteriority and he says well 
Yes, he who created your outer is also the one who created your interior. Therefore, purify your interior so that the outside also will be best example. So many are there. Okay, the primitive magic is substituted in the developed society by prayer. Yes. We don't go for any more magic, but rather we go for prayer. We don't do magical works, but rather prayer. Third one is morality, expressions of uh, the divine in terms of belief called morality. Third one is morality, man's existence and deep encounter with the divine takes a very concrete and existential expression in morality. Clear? There is something very important. Morality at the primitive level is characterized by taboos. Yes. So many taboos. Clear? Yes. You can take one day for talking about it. But then I don't go into that. There is no much philosophy here, but it's only a phenomenological approach. How the phenomenon of religion got developed. Therefore, religious consciousness got developed. That's our target. So, in the developed society, the religious consciousness is characterized by interpersonal relationship. Interpersonal relationship. See, chapus giving way to interpersonal relationship in the advanced contemporary society. Idolatry is giving way to prayer. These are the primitive ones, myths, idolatry and taboos. Primitive way and then developed way, yes, it's taboos or myths are meant for expressing the truth and then idolatry is replaced with prayer and taboos with interpersonal relationship. That is the expression of it. Not much philosophy there. But then the philosophical aspects are found here. This and all, even if when you don't get much time, please die, write the title and its uh, subtitles with one sentences and all. But this is not what important. Important is, yes, what is phenomenological understanding of religious consciousness and then define religious consciousness, content of religious consciousness, experiencing the religious consciousness, expressions of the uh, religious consciousness. Now, the last point that is all connected with phenomenological understanding of religion, of religion or moral consciousness. Phenomenological, yes. Religious consciousness as a phenomena is taken and done discussion at length. Clear? Now, well, we go into the next uh, section, not that very important, that is six symbols. Symbols and uh, symbol, symbols or symbolism, symbolism and religious consciousness. Hold on. Point six. If I put everything together, you will simply write only the schema and keep. That's why it simply changed it. Okay. Now, religious, content of religious consciousness is to be also expressed symbolically. You cannot really present it. Therefore, you make use of symbols. Therefore, therefore, six one kinds of symbols. Hello. Yes. That's again, I'm not going to explain much. In other words, presentative symbols. Presentative symbols. Second one is Verbal symbols. Verbal means we make use of words 
clear third one yes now verbal symbols verbal symbols are of different types clear 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 yes dimensions of symbols kinds dimensions of symbols what are the verbal symbols are of different types yes verbal symbols yes verbal symbols are of different kinds follow what are the poetic yes you make use of so in other words don't get confused this is all symbolic way of expressing well you who express in different form one is presentative the other one is verbal and verbal means there are verbal different kinds of verbal symbols one is poetic second one is existential existential and third one is cosmic or first one is cosmic and fourth one is huh? stop it okay i will write it on the top okay so well we will also do it in a different way presentative symbols yes verbal presentative and then six one one Six one two. Presentative one is for uh, six one one. Presentative six one two. Verbal okay. Verbal one. Verbal ones. Dif- different dimensions of symbols okay first one is what is that yes cosmic dimension that's better cosmic dimension 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 6 1 2 is the existential one six one two four is the last one communal dimension communal communal means community dimension clear we will just go all these in simply at a glance looking because it's not that very important from the point of view of philosophical understanding but then when you study something you should have a comprehensive view not that you simply leave out something you are talking about religious consciousness religious consciousness what is the content of religious consciousness the holy then we defined it and then levels of experience we said yes in the three levels of experience common level and then ascetical level and then is called mystical level and then expressions of it clear expressions of it expressions that we have already seen and then expressions also and then symbolic way of representing it and then kinds of symbols presentative one verbal one yes verbal ones are of cosmic poetic existential communion so in other words cosmos is made used to express poetic forms are made used to express existential forms are made used to a communal community yes in terms of agape we say and all that we are going to come to into that okay kinds of symbol in phenomenology of religion is an expression of man's 
religious consciousness resting on a presentative or verbal phenomenon in other words they are indicated they are indicators can be compared to a window a window does not tell what reality is but opens opens one to it opens a person to the reality we distinguish two kinds of symbolic expressions first is presentative yes means kind of a presentative symbol does not make use of any linguistic expression rather it is concerned with symbolic manifestation maybe visual color gesture etc for example yes beautiful the crucifix is the presentative symbol of christian faith not symbol symbolic a presentative in other words yes you are immediately reminded of the passion suffering death of jesus so that is called presentative the presence before you and that's why there is a vavila said for meditation well the best object for meditation is the crucifix because it transports you to the reality clear simply take you into a different realm you don't need any other medium so that is what is called presentative the smell of incense refers to liturgical celebration presentative presentative symbols are characterized by simultaneous simultaneity clear in other words the fact you say about this it's already simultaneously represented second one is verbal one okay so the verbal one verbal symbols it refers to the communication of words it is discursive hence it needs interpretation symbol for example when we say speak about god as my rock god is light and all that is so in other words symbolic representation dimensions of symbols clear yes verbal dimensions of symbols first one cosmic dimension of symbols by cosmic dimension we argue that symbols have something to do with nature symbols have something to do with nature in the surroundings of nature generally man feels himself immediately to be touched with the sacred for example we have psalms and various poems describing it yes god is my rock god is my shepherd and there is nothing i shall want and also that is the cosmic dimension poetic one again the religious consciousness takes again a poetic dimension this means that language in various forms like metaphors and other literary type are made use to describe man's religious consciousness they are not presentative but rather symbolic way of expressing it clear we have ample example of this in scripture so also people who do not belong to any religion describe their religious consciousness in poetic forms that is the poetic forms existential dimension third one symbolism becomes meaningful when it is lived and experienced this means that if a symbol has to be meaningful it should carry along with it a lived experience through which the interrelation of the symbol is grasped communal dimension yes it indicates and stresses the consequence of the social character of man man understood as an incarnate spirit with others in the world has 
his experiences in the society so to symbols to be meaningful should integrate in it the communal aspect in other words the symbolism should include what in a particular society continue to experience yes that's why as the people of israel jesus spoke in a very existential and communal way bunch of sheep and shepherd were there and so he made use an expression that i am the shepherd i am the good shepherd clear and distinguished from the false one so that's all so two symbols have meaning yes in particular to the so that's why it is called communal it's not communal not to be understood in the negative sense of communalism clear but then reference to community well these are from a this could also go with the phenomenology no problem but then then it is students should not get that that question is a vast one but these things also will go into it so that is phenomenological understanding of religious consciousness so in when you write that well you need to define what is first of all consciousness clear that i think three classes before i had beautifully presented it consciousness means experience gets sedimented various experiences clear all the and thus consciousness is formed well in the consciousness itself there are different kinds of consciousness namely yes consciousness that deals with knowledge noetic consciousness consciousness that deals with beauty ugly and all this called aesthetic consciousness consciousness that deals with right and wrong that is called ethical consciousness consciousness that deals with holy is called religious consciousness other one is called ethical or moral consciousness and from that perspective we jump into what is religious consciousness religious consciousness as a subject matter of religious consciousness is the holy and now rudolf otto has summed up we are not referring to any particular religion but then checking up all the aspects of different religions we he formulated he defined yes the holy as tremendum et fascinans after that from that you proceed to simply called yes experiencing this holy at three levels primitive level ascetic level yes ascetic ascetic asceticism you practice a way of life yes and thus mortification penance and all you experience and then the third one is the mystical one and then move on to the next one expressions of this religious consciousness and that is in the form of yes belief cult and morality and then we jumped finally into the symbolic representation of this religious consciousness that is what was being dealt in the last section clear yes Re- representative says presentative and then symbolic all that is with that formally we come to the end of what we are supposed to see in theodicy and now well perhaps for me what is important is yet to come that is the next point that is seventh point means concluding remarks yeah some people when they write a book at the end they give something to deal with that which is going to deal with in the next book the same way well concluding remarks we need to or concluding remarks or maybe concluding reflections in the sense well what our we have explained will suffice but then yes phenomenological phenomenological understanding is already on the move and then 
process philosophy yes after phenom phenomenology came process of course process was there already yes uh, in hegel itself clear hegelian notion of uh, reality yes reality he said reality is in a process contradiction is the root of life reality is idea reason or spirit so in other words spirit the reality is in a process contradiction is the root of life and that is what he called dialectical method we know later it was taken up by karl marx this is of hegel taken by karl marx and then redefined dialectical idealism became dialectical materialism so the process is already there and phenomenology ever since kant as yes, phenomenology started and the phenomenological approach we have done now well a concluding remark whatever we have presented that's what is something important whatever we have presented is only simply an indication of something not that we are saying that this is the thing therefore yes the first point will be we will take up the next class path ways you travel through there the certain paths or you speak about certain ways the path ways are not the reality that's a point clear sometimes for university they ask please explain path to ways what is it what does it what does it mean yes there is something that is what we will see it in the next class followed by next point is yes different dimensions of this pathways clear why i told what if whatever we are talking about the religious consciousness are ways of talking about something that is deeper within us and that is what is called pathways and the rest we will see in the next two classes and thus we wind up theodicy and thereby the first semester for your 2020-21 for semester question it will be also concluded for third years clear namely anthropology and theodicy ethics will start in the next class so the concluding reflections are very important that is to be noted and that's what is going to follow for the moment we stop here thank you thank you very much